Hey everyone, Boone here from PremiumBeat.com. Today I'm going to show you how you can export YouTube-ready caption files directly from within Premiere Pro. Let's get started. So you have a variety of different methods that you can add subtitles or captions to a YouTube video. And a lot of those methods take place on YouTube's website. But I want to show you how you can add captions within Premiere Pro. And then when you export your video, it's going to export a little file that you can simply upload to your YouTube channel. So let me show you how we can achieve this. So I have a test clip here. It's just me talking for about 11 seconds. Let's have a listen. Hello, my name is Jason Boone. This is test of subtitles in YouTube. So now I'm going to talk really, really fast. I'm talking really, really fast. How do the subtitles look? Okay, so there's a couple of things I want to see. I want to add my captions here. And I, I left a couple of different spaces here because I want to see exactly how if I can leave some space and how these subtitles are going to look uh, once we're on YouTube. So let's go ahead and start to create our caption file. So the first thing you need to do is click the new item button and you'll see there's a captions option right here. So I'll click on captions. Now, not to dive too deep into all the technical jargon here, but you have four different options. Now, the two main ones that you can use are CEA 608 or the teletext. I've had some problems using the 708 and I haven't really found a way to use open captions, but both of these other options work. So I'm going to go ahead and stick it, stay with a default of 608. I don't need to change anything else. I can select OK. And now I'm going to grab this caption file and drag it straight down here over top. And then I'm going to drag it out to the length of my clip here. And now you can see we have one little section here, and this is basically one section of subtitles. So let me show you how you can work with this. I'm going to double click the caption file. That's going to bring up the captions window. And now I can start to type in here. So let's take a little block. Hello, my name is Jason Boone. So let's just start to type these in here. Hello, my name is Jason Boone. And now that sentence ends right here, so I can drag the edge of this first subtitle and then play right there. Now, working with captions can be a little confusing because if you look right now, you're not seeing it on the program monitor. Let me close this. You're not seeing anything, but my caption files here, everything's turned on. So what you have to do is go to this little settings wrench button here, and then there's a closed captions display. You click enable, and I'm still seeing nothing. Well, you have to go back, and then you have to adjust the settings, and K608, that's set correctly. Now we might just need to refresh it. Oh, there we go. But sometimes if it's not set to, um, you have to actually specify. So if I were to pick 708, you have to specify it. Otherwise it won't show you, it won't even display those. So now I see my captions and I can continue. I'm gonna double click here. And now I'm gonna add my second caption here. This is test of subtitles in YouTube. This is a test of subtitles in YouTube. You can grab here, drag this out. Jason Boone, this is test of subtitles in YouTube. Okay, now one thing I want to make note of, I type this in and we're seeing it's running off here and we can't see the edge of it. Now, if we were doing a burn-in, which a burn-in is when we export this, we can have we can there's a button we can press in export settings where we can have this burn in and you'll see it. You won't have an option to click it. It's just going to show you the titles up on screen at all times. So we don't want to do that. But if we did want to do that, we'd have to reformat this. But for the purposes of this video and for the purposes of what we're doing, exporting a file for YouTube, uh, this is really irrelevant. So you don't have to reformat this unless you're doing a burn-in or unless you're sending this to an actual broadcast TV station. So if I were wanting to change this, I could just go in here and hit enter and you'll see it'll reformat here. But again, I don't have to do that if I don't want to. Okay, in YouTube. So now I'm gonna talk. Okay, so then I said, so Now I'm gonna talk. Okay, let's see here. I'm gonna move this one over here. You can see you can move these around pretty easily. So now I'm gonna talk really, really fast. I'm talking. And I wanna leave this gap here just as an experiment to see how it turns out. I see, make sure everything works smoothly once I'm inside YouTube. 
And for our last one, let's hear what I say. Really, really fast. I'm talking really, really fast. How do the sub? Really, really fast. I'm talking really, really fast. Really, really fast. I'm talking really, really fast. Again, look here, it's running off, but we don't have to worry about that because we're exporting this as a file and it will be just fine. Fast, how do the subtitles look? In fact, to illustrate this, I'm gonna just add all the rest of the text here. How do the subtitles look? Okay, so our captions are ready. We have four different ones here on our caption file. Now, another thing uh, when working with captions is you have to worry about the export settings. Okay, so let's say I'm exporting this for YouTube. I'm gonna go down here and select YouTube 1080p HD. And if you look here, there's a captions tab. It might default to video, but if you go select captions, it's not exporting any captions right now. So if I just export this, it's gonna totally ignore my captions. So I need to drop this down. And I have two options. As before, I said I can burn the captions into my video, which is gonna keep, it's gonna show the, the subtitles up at all times, but we don't want that. We just wanna create a sidecar file. Now, I'll provide a link in the article here, in the tutorial, the description of this video that'll show you, link you to all of the formats that YouTube accepts. One of the main ones is SRT. So I'm gonna switch the file format to SRT and this can be left alone. And now I will go ahead and export this. Okay, the export is complete. If I go over here and look, I have my MP4 file that's ready to be uploaded to YouTube. And then I have an SRT file here that's ready as well. So now let's go over to YouTube and see what we have to do. Okay, I'm inside YouTube now and I have, I'm in my video editor. If you look over here, there's a button for subtitles and closed captioning. I'm gonna click on that. And now in this window, we can see add new subtitles or closed captions. I'm gonna drop this down and select English. This brings us to a separate window here. And if you look, I'm gonna select cancel. It's asking us to upload the file here. I'm gonna select cancel. If you look here, there's some that, some of these subtitles have been automatically generated. And if you look, there's this cool editor where we can retime this and we could manually type these in, but I don't want to do that. I want to go ahead and upload our file that we created. So I'm going to click upload file and it gives us a warning that it's going to overwrite what we have already, which is just fine. So now I'm going to select subtitles file, choose file, and now I'll grab that SRT file, open, and then upload. And now you can see I have the four different caption files here, and they're in our timeline here. So now let's have a look. Hello, my name is Jason Boone. This is test of subtitles in YouTube. So now I'm gonna talk really, really fast. I'm talking really, really fast. How do the subtitles look? Okay, and just as I said before, on the captions within Premiere Pro, the, the titles ran off and the formatting was bad, but here, once I uploaded the file, the information looks good here. And if I need to make any changes, I can just click on one and change this here, add an S. And now I'll select Save Changes, and everything is good to go. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Be sure to check out Premium Beat for high-quality, royalty-free music and sound effects for all of your media and video projects.